my beautiful friends today's video i'm sharing with you some very casual outfits um how i like to style my biker shorts um today is not like my usual frilly dresses and things that i wear typically um these are the outfits when it's just too hot to be fussing with anything and i just need a shorts and a top and need to run out the door um these aren't necessarily what i always pair my biker shorts with but these are just some ideas in case you had something similar in your closet or something you found at the store and just didn't know how to style it maybe it's something similar to what i'm showing you um over the winter i gained quite a bit of weight um i was selling my home and my home that i previously had was contingent on buying my new home but we didn't know how fast our home was going to sell it sold in it sold in 24 hours. It was the craziest, most tumultuous time of my life. Um, and we had no home to move into. It was so hard to find a house. And we ended up having to stay at family members' houses. And we finally had moved into our house in April. We were very fortunate, but I turned to food. And even gaining 10 pounds for someone like me is very um, unhealthy and not good for my body type and my mental health. It just doesn't work well with me. Um, I have a very strange relationship with food and I often use it as coping, um, which I know is very unhealthy. And when I get into weird moods, sometimes that's what happens. But, you know, and I was really hard on myself in the beginning of the summer and I wasn't going to wear bathing suits or anything. But then I thought it's the busiest time of the year for us. Summer is like one of the most important times of the year for us. We do so, so much and I wasn't going to ruin my summer. And I figured when everything kind of slows down in the fall, I can get back to a more healthier um, routine. I'm not the healthiest person to begin with, but I definitely don't typically eat the way I have been. So needless to say, what any of that means is that I wanted to say these biker shorts have really um, put me in a, I know it's so silly to think that, but it's made me feel a little more confident wearing shorts this summer, um, opposed to wearing like a pair of Adidas shorts that are like more flowy or something to that effect. These have really made me feel comfortable and confident. And I thought I would share with you how I style them. Um, I'm not always in the most perfect mood and sometimes I can get hard on myself, but often I try to really, really love myself and be very confident and try to always just tell myself that everything's gonna be okay and we can fix anything. So if you're interested in seeing how I style my biker shorts, if you just like my personality and wanna stick around, I would love for you to subscribe and I will see you very soon with some of the clips of my outfits. Okay, so the very first outfit I went with was just this three-quarter sleeve, um, like an olive green top, almost like an army green, to kind of match with my really soft camo um, biker shorts. I don't know why that was so hard to get out. Um, I really kind of like this together. It's super cute. It kind of gives it a spin on like the t-shirt look with the biker shorts. As you can see, you can kind of dress it up. I mean, obviously this outfit's and the outfits I'm going to show you are kind of very super casual for just, you know, easy, maybe going to lunch or just hanging out on the weekends. These are super casual outfits, but I really like this combination together. And it's just like a, um, the sides are longer on this top, which I like a lot. So this is the very first outfit. This is how I would style these particular biker shorts. I mean, you could obviously wear these with a pair of black you could obviously wear these with a black t-shirt, white t-shirt, like anything you wanted. Um, but I just wanted to kind of give it a spin and not do the whole t-shirt thing. And this is how I would style these biker shorts. Now, these are really inexpensive from Boohoo. Super soft. Um, a little higher than most, but I really, really like these a lot. So yeah, this is the very first outfit. Obviously, I don't know if I would pair it with the red lip. Um, I was taking an Instagram picture where I felt like the red lip looked a little bit better. Um, and it's just too hot anymore. We're in July. It's way too hot to be wearing my hair down and even attempting to put heat on it because the minute I'm in that humidity, my hair just frizzes up. So I have been wearing my hair in different hairstyles to kind of protect my hair from the heat and from using heat on it. So this is how I would do, just throw a bun put on this shirt and run around in it. Now I wouldn't wear this when it was 100 degrees, but this is definitely a great outfit for like the evening, maybe when it's a little cooler. So on to the next one. Now this next outfit is really, really cute. These particular biker shorts were marketed on Boohoo as a long biker short, and I really love where they hit. They're not quite a capri, um, 
they're more like a Bermuda short, but a Bermuda biker short. So they hit like right at the knee, which I think is perfect, especially if you want something a little more modest. And I just paired it with this floral cold shoulder top that I picked up at Ross. It just has this really pretty lace um, with like little embroidered flowers, um, very light, even though it's black and um it kind of looks heavy it's not it's just like a t-shirt material it has this really pretty like a bell kind of sleeve still covers but you still have that little bit of a shoulder moment and it's very flowy and nice doesn't cling to anything so i really like this outfit i think this looks really nice together and what i liked about this top is you can definitely pretty much pair it with anything even in the winter a pair of jeans but i thought it was perfect for summer um I don't often wear black, like I've said in the past, but this one with a little bit of pop of color right here in the embroiderment or whatever this is, like little lace is perfect for me. And I kind of love the little neckline, how it's like a V, but it doesn't show much, but it's still kind of like perfect for summer with a little cold shoulder. And then, yeah, like I said, I would pair this with these or even like a jean short. I only have right now at the time one, pairs of, one pair of jean shorts that actually fit me. Um, I've gained a lot of weight recently, which I'm not thrilled about, so, but I guess it happens and I am working on losing it, but for now, this is how I would pair this and I really like it and I would probably just put on a pair of, um, I'd probably just wear a pair of, like, Birkenstocks, flip-flops, something super easy, and you could definitely wear this out to brunch with somebody, um, something kind of semi-casual it's nothing really fancy or dressy but it's just perfect for the summer okay so the next outfit is probably one of my favorite when i tell you these biker shorts from the wild fable line at target are literally the best fitting ones i either get an extra large or an extra extra large it just depends on what they have in stock these are so incredible i think they're so flattering they hit exactly where i like them to hit right above the knee and they're really thick, not like they heat you up thick, like they make you hot, but thick where they're not see-through and you can tell they're not going to like rip in the crotch area easily like the ones from Walmart or like leggings from Walmart. So I paired my black ones from Target with just this really nice top that I got from TJ Maxx. It's just a really pretty floral summery print and it has like a lace top like the one before and just little buttons down the side for a little accent. These sleeves are a little shorter than I would typically wear. I really don't mind it because it is summer and it is quite warm, but I thought this outfit was really cute together. Um, I often wear a lot of dresses in the summertime, so I wanted to show like what I wear on days that I'm not in a dress. And this is usually something I would put on to go to work in or to go out to lunch with my husband on the weekends or just to run to the grocery store, pretty much anything. And I would just pair these with either a pair of slip-on sneakers or probably more sandal, like my, um, just like my Birkenstock sandals. That's usually what I live in all summer. But here's a little closer view of this top. I think it's absolutely gorgeous. It has all these little pretty pops of color with the black in the back. It kind of just makes them pop even more. And I think they look okay with these shorts. I really don't mind them. Um, I, this is the first summer I've worn biker shorts and I absolutely love them. I think they are the greatest short right now. I mean, I know not everyone loves them, but I really, really love them. Okay, so the next outfit is just this adorable baby doll top. Um, I think that's what they're called, or like a smock top. I don't know, but I kind of love this. At first, I didn't know if I loved it that much, but it hits me right under the bust, and it just flares out, so it covers any extra weight I might be ha uh, holding in the tummy area. I love the sleeves. Um, sometimes, which there's nothing wrong with it, but these tops, sometimes you can kind of look bloated or I don't even want to say it because I know it could upset somebody, but like you just look rounder in the tummy sometimes when you wear um, these types of tops. But this one doesn't do too bad. And I just paired it with, of course, another pair of my Target um, ones in gray. These look really cute together. I wasn't sure if I was going to like the black and gray together. Now, something about me which is like makes my family kind of make fun of me and joke around is that i am terrible at matching outfits i always have been since i was younger i just one i don't care i wear whatever i like so a lot of times it doesn't always look good together 
but I just have a hard time matching things. Much better now, but sometimes things I put on kind of look goofy and I have to change. But I think this looks okay. Gray and black is okay together, in my opinion. Like, I know not to wear navy blue and black or, um, like, red and purple together. I know those things, but, like, sometimes, I don't know. So, I thought this outfit was really, really cute. Um, you could put on a little heel sandal with this because the top is so flowy and cute. Um, a little kitten heel sandal or like a little platform sandal would look super cute or like a flat platform um, flip-flop. So yeah, I love this little top and this outfit together. Um, it's so flowy and airy. It is a little see-through if you kind of go, you can kind of see, but it's not terrible. Like you can't see my bra or anything. So yeah, this is the next outfit and I really love it. The top is from Boohoo and these pants are from Target. So this is the next one. I kind of love it with my hair up in a bun, and I think this would be perfect. I'm just showing you all these just in case you have a couple biker shorts and maybe a couple like frilly tops and you're not sure if they would go together or you're not even sure how to put things together. Um, neither am I. I'm in the same boat as you. I'm just trying this along with you guys. But maybe this gives you outfit ideas. Maybe you have something very similar in your closet and you didn't think about pulling it out together. So yeah, this is the next one. So this next outfit, um, I had shown these before and I was going to pair these with like a similar color top from Target that was like this camo brown, um, just a t-shirt that was camo brown, camel brown, um, but I thought I'd just show a different option. I wore this the other day and really, really loved it. Now I got this top from Ross. It says coffee, sarcasm, and lipstick, sort of my, you know, three things. I love lipstick, sarcasm, and coffee, so I thought this shirt was absolutely perfect for me um all of my tops that i've shown you are a 1x um i forgot to say that this one i love because it has this little extra detail it's a little longer in the back i'm not sure what this is called but it's like slid up the side and it gives it just like that little feminine touch and i just thought these looked cute together um anytime i wear leopard print like this if you remember a show from the 80s i believe it was called love and marriage and the wife's name was Peg Bundy, and she always had such, like, over-the-top outfits, and I'm pretty sure she wore leopard print all the time for whatever reason. Anytime myself or my sister wear leopard print, my husband and I laugh and say we look like Peg Bundy. If you remember that, you know, show, let me know down below. Maybe that ages me a little bit. My grandparents watched it a lot. I was really, really young. It was, like, the late 80s, early 90s. The dad's name was Al Bundy. But yeah, I thought this outfit was so cute together. And I love that little feminine side. Kind of just really looks cute together. And this is one of my favorite outfits. So super, super comfortable, especially when it's very, very hot. Okay, this very last one is how I would pair mine with a oversized t-shirt. Um, these are again from Target. They're just the bleach washed or like the sun washed uh, camo ones that I freaking love. They just look like they've been sitting in the sun or like bleach washed, sun washed. They are gorgeous. They have um, like tan and a darker tan, um, some gray and white. And I just paired them with this oversized Harley Davidson t-shirt. Um, I think I got this from Ross. Um, it was really, really inexpensive, like under $10 or right around $10. Now, I thought I was going to love it. I'm trying to get like trying to figure out how to actually style it because it's huge it's very very not huge like in size wise it's just very very long I should say probably made for like tall people um because obviously this is unisex men or women could wear it I feel like when I wear it like this let me just stand normal I look very heavier than I am um it just isn't flattering it kind of clings to my tummy when I'm kind of moving a little bit so what I would do is just probably wear it up over my hips and just kind of like just blouse it like that um with these you could wear anything but I thought I would just show you how I would pair it I'm trying to get some use out of this shirt because I haven't worn it at all really um the lettering is um raised it's not velvet it's just like felt almost it's like a really weird t-shirt but I grabbed it for just like a casual day when it's so hot um it's not black it's just like this tan color and it should keep you nice and cool, but this outfit's okay. Um, 
This top's all right. It's not my favorite, but I think it's a lot of fun. You could pair this with any color t-shirt, really, because these colors are so neutral and kind of muted that you could do a black t-shirt, red, um, orange, pretty much anything. But I thought this outfit's okay. It's not bad. I definitely would wear the t-shirt more up like this, up over my bum, and just kind of instead of hanging down. But you could do either one. Whatever you particularly like. You could even knot it if you wanted to. Um, I have too much of a tummy for me to be comfortable with this outfit like that. But yeah, this is my last outfit. And this is how I style all my biker shorts. So we will... So I will be right back with you guys to kind of wrap up the video. Okay, so that is the end of today's video. I hope you really enjoyed this. If you have any questions, definitely leave anything down below for me. And I will get... To back to you as soon as possible um i would love to hear what outfits you loved if you've been wearing biker shorts or like what's your kind of go-to to make you feel confident this summer it's just been so hot and nothing's comfortable right now so if you have any questions feel free to leave them down below i hope you all subscribe and i will see you all in the next video bye guys